Hello, my name's Josephine Mann and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today we're going to be making these cute little treat mugs. Um, thank you Linda Parker for the um, your YouTube obviously videos of how to make these mugs but I thought I'd give it a Christmas feel with the new dies and the new DSP. The dies are um, pretty uh, pretty pines, finlet dies, which I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, the actual DSP is presents and pine cones. So that one's that one. But this one, I used my crafty stash and I used a different type of um, designer paper. And this one's from Trimcraft, which um, they do some quite nice, uh, obviously, uh, papers but as I say I've used in this one my crafty stash but today we'll be using Stampin' Ups I'm going to pop these aside and we're going to be using <coughs> real red cardstock um, from Stampin' Up and the measurements are nine and a half by seven and three quarters nine and a half by seven and three quarters I promised a few of my friends um, this YouTube video so that they could follow along and obviously do this. Bring in my scoreboard, well, very well loved scoreboard, um, and pop in the long side at the top. Um, you're going to start and score along at one and a half. Score all the way down. And I'm using my um, the large end of my ball, ball tool. And then you're going to score along at three inches. And then you're going to score along at four and a half inches. And then you're going to score along at six inches. So the ladies that um, obviously at my craft club and my crafty friends, I want to see your designs. So if you do have a go at making this, please um, message me so that I can see your designs. So then you're going to turn it onto the short side, okay? And then the first uh, score line will be at one and a half inches. And then the second score line will be five and a quarter inches down there. And then that's all the scoring that you need to be doing for this. And you can put your scoreboard away. Nice crisp. crisp. Crisp, crisp edges and Linda Parker's um, video for this is great I do thank her for coming up with it because it's a lovely sturdy little cup I don't know that she won't mind me facing her make obviously putting my own twist on it Okay, so we scored all along the lines. Now Linda does this a little bit different, but I thought that I would do it my way first. <coughs> We're going to bring in our um, envelope punch board. And oops, on the short side, we are going to, so if I can turn that so that you can actually see, we're going to turn it so that the middle bit is in the middle, if I can show you, and I'm doing it a bit upside down here. But we need our line here to be in the middle of there, okay? So I'm going to try and see whether you can see what I'm doing, but um, my envelope punch board is well loved, and you can hear well noisy. So the next one down, and because this is really hard cardstock, you need to be quite um, ruthless with your punching down. <coughs> but if anybody saw my last um, YouTube video, I made a little box out of this, and so now I'm making a cup um, for Christmas. And hopefully you will enjoy this. Okay. There. <coughs> We've punched 
all the way along. So if you can see the line, it's in the middle of the line we've punched. Okay, so I'm going to move my envelope punch board because we don't need that no more. Away. There we go. Now, this section here we don't need. So we're going to cut this away. So ladies, snip it away. Like that. And then this section down here we don't need. So we're going to cut that away as well. Okay. I'm just going to make that. So then you've got a nice little tab there. Okay. Then what we're going to do now is oops, put all of our. Now you need six um, using the DSP. I've used presents and pine cones. As you can see on one side, it's that. But I've decided to go. For my stripe, the stripey effect, and um, <clears throat> this measures three by one and a quarter. Okay, that's um, up the top. So I would use snail. I haven't got any little stamping up. So anything from your crafty stash, really, ladies. Any type of. Um, but I would say that something like this, you can can move around so that you can. And it needs to be up the top. Just the top of it, okay. That's the next one. Now you can put loads of Christmas goodies in these. Um, I was thinking of putting on a hot chocolate mixture with some marshmallows and then some chocolate as well. Perhaps a flake or something. You know, just for somebody just to say happy Christmas. Or you could spend even a little bit more money. Right, there's our DSP. All done. Okay. Now, I'm using red, um, extra sticky red double-sided tape because I feel that it's uh, we need a good stick here and because this is a lovely substantial mug um, you need something good to stick on sorry about my voice but I've had a bit of a cold um, just trim that off okay. then we're going to put our double-sided tape <clears throat> on here, on this side here, we want to come in a bit and the reasons will be clear. We want to come in but we need to put it right up onto the edge. Okay. All the way along. And then again for this one, the top one, come in about half an inch I would say, I'm not too precise a bit, there we go. we've done that. So before we put it together I'm just going to snip up these bits here and I should actually bring in better snips. So, so we'll snip up the middle. So I'm 
hopefully ladies you're with me got these handy little bits. You got this bit here and you got these bits along here but obviously this bit not too much. All right as I say not too much half an inch I would say okay then we are going to take this off and take this off and we're going to fold this over This is what makes it really lovely and substantial. Then we are going to just show you in here. We've got like a little pocket now that we've made in here. So this going to pop this in. It's a bit fiddly, so well I, I found it a little bit fiddly, but once you've got this pocket open, you can see one more fingers and thumbs. There we go. Once you know you've got it in, that's it. Yeah. Now I use, I haven't got anything to, uh, let's see. <coughs> I'm using a glitter pot. So what you're going to be doing right, is bringing each tab over. Okay. And I find my end, and I'm using, I mean you could use wet glue, um, I'm using the red double sided extra strong tape, two bits, so you can fast forward me if you want on this bit, this is a bit fiddly, I say you should all know what, what you're doing that to there to marry up okay. and that one to that one so double sided tape on here find the end Oops, it's gonna be crooked so what colours would you have your um your mugs I mean, I'm sure that you've got loads of pretty papers out there that you could actually, in your crafty stash, that you could actually use. As long as you've got a um, scoreboard and an envelope punch board, then sky's the limit. And this is just a Christmas one. But, um, you, could Easter ones, Valentine's mug. Um, birthday mugs so if you're having a birthday special birthday party or somebody's special birthday party and a, a meal just think you could make a mug for everybody and put all their goodies in there right so as you can see that's so now I'm going to um, pop a, um, and I've cut, it's around about, I think it's about two inch um, disc, I say disc, cut a two inch piece of card just to tidy this up. Um, I'll take that pot out, okay, you see that? Two inch. oh, two inches. Let's have a look. Measure. Oh no, they're not. They're three and three quarters. So, and that's going to go on the bottom just to to tidy it up. I'm going to use my wet tongue bow glue here. 
and make sure it's around the edges. Okay. And I'll stick that on the bottom. Can't see all the workings. So people don't know how you've done it. Sorry about the shadowing. I'm going to pop my trusted little uh, pot in there just to keep it. Oops, mm -hmm. Just to keep it in shape. Now, I have a, um, a piece of one inch and oh, this is 11, but you don't need 11 inches. Um, so it's a one inch, but as I say, I've cut it at 11. But this is just so that I can um, see where I actually want to get a good a good handle on it. So you need to find the back. And do you know what? This is so good. But I can't actually find my... How good am I? Oh, it's just my glasses. Where is it? There it is. So you need to find your back. So this back one here. Okay. And again, I'm going to use this sticky and I'm going to come around about an inch, I'd say an inch down. I don't know what my inches are like, I think they're quite generous. I'll put three bits on, I don't want it coming off. Pokey tool, and any pokey tool will do. Since I've moved, I haven't found mine. Right, so this bit here, I'm going to round about, you can see. So wherever you've put your glue, make sure it's in the middle. Oh, and it's not in the middle now. Because I'm doing it on the side and I messed it up, but never mind. Never mind. My other ones were perfect. So, as I say, the bit of cardstock is too long, but that's so that you can get a nice curl. Well, I think so. You can get a nice curl on your um, on your mug handle. And I'm gonna just. there and then again so this side you're going to put your double sided tape so that it sticks to there so once you've got this stuck here you're going to put it on the inside okay so the inside sticks down like that good are you with me so far hopefully you all are and I bet you've stopped me pause me but that's okay because uh, yeah, we all do, we all get things, we need time to do things. <laughs> and I am making a bit of a pig's ear of putting this tape on, but it's the only way. And I just found this better, so I can get it exactly where I want it. I'm using my pokey tool again. That's it. Sometimes this um, red double sided tape is so sticky that it actually won't come off. So just uh, just burnish it a bit before it does. Right, now because I'm doing the sides on, and in actual fact I should do it up like this, you can actually marry it up with your... and get a nice, a nice curve on it. Can you see? nice curve so there that's the mug so far now I've decided to use <coughs> pretty pines um, the oops the die set and I think is absolutely gorgeous and if you want to purchase this you can pop along to um, Josephine Nern um, on stamping up and I'll be happy to take your order 
but I'm not going to go through everything obviously of popping dyes on popping the dyes on and the card on but I've used mink macaroon and uh, a cherry cobbler here and I do believe this is cherry cobbler as well um, instead of I think I said real red but I think it's cherry cobbler and I've cut quite a few sprigs out and then cut out the um... so as you can see I've popped my embellishment on um, and as I said before I wasn't going to show you how to put the obviously the dies through the die cutting machine it's all about making the little cup okay so there's my beautiful little cup in uh, mink macaron and a uh, red cobbler and a little uh, bow there could put a sentiment on as well um, so another one of mine and here's the other one so it's three that I've made now okay thank you for popping by and um, hope you try out these lovely lovely mugs and um, I want to thank again uh, Linda Parker for obviously this design and um, you and helping us to share the envelope punch board have a lovely day and God bless. Bye for now.